guys, it's James. And it's me. And it's day eight here in Japan. We are currently at Universal Studios. We are so excited. As you can see, we're repping the Harry Potter merch. We are just ecstatic right it's now. It's so exciting because also we have VIP tickets or like Express Pass. It means we don't have to wait in the lines forever. No, and we not have, like Disney C. And we have time entry for the Harry Potter world and Nintendo world. So we're super excited. But step one, breakfast. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna sit up the front. I'm so excited. I don't know how I feel about this genuinely. So good like I'm not even kidding I usually hate roller coasters they're usually way too sketchy for my liking but that it was just... so good it, first off it was thrilling like it yes. was unbelievably thrilling but it didn't feel sketchy yeah and also they had music playing like, like right, right here, here which I feel like made you a little bit more relaxed but honestly guys if you ever get here definitely do that one amazing now off to the minions one all right let's go The minion ride, Yasmin. What were your thoughts on that? Well, it wasn't really a ride in the sense of it like moving forwards. It was similar to the one that we did in Disney Sea, where you were in a wagon and it just kind of was moving around with a big screen yep. in front. Almost but, like a 4D movie in a yes, way. Yes, it was like a 4D movie that pretty much was telling a story, and we were all driving through all these crazy things, and there weren't explosions and all the minions. It was really, really cool. I really liked it. You got a bit dizzy. Like, yeah, you know, I got a little bit dizzy. I thought it was a lot for my eyes. And to be honest, you know how I said with the first one it wasn't that sickly? This one did, man, yeah, turn my tummy a little bit upside down. But Yasmin tells me that's nothing compared to what we're about to do. So the next yeah. one is basically a roller coaster, but it's like a Jurassic World one. Exactly. Where you're on, you're basically on your belly. Something Hanging, like and there's like a pterodactyl essentially like carrying you in a yes. way. But anyway, we actually had lunch. We had some awesome pizza, met some awesome so Japanese people. Bit of a language barrier in terms of the conversation, but it was still fun. Anyway, you ready to do this? Let's do it. Because I'm not. get any crazier you do the loop and it just and like because you're you're facing downwards when it goes into a loop 
you feel like you're sitting upright, but like, you know what I but mean? Not. Like, but not, like, it was just insane. And it was really long as well, like, it was a good length, so it was definitely worth it. I, I would do that again. That was, there you go. Um, that was incredible. So that was the Jurassic Park, I think, flying dinosaur one. So that was amazing. I think we need a bit of a rest. We yes. might look at a couple shops. <laughs> Just rest. calm down. So, yep. yeah, let's See go. Guys, we've made it to Hogwarts, let's go inside. <laughs> Jasmine cried her way through it. She absolutely loved it so much. I think uh, I probably, I, I mean, I couldn't wipe my smile off. It was yeah. just, I was smiling from you the whole way through. You I just, because just I'm crying. such a diehard fan, like that was just, like I actually thought I was there. Like it was insane. It was like a mixture again of like, um, what we did at Disney Sea, yes, soaring. Like you're flying through the world with a screen, but then it also went into bits where it was actual real life, like, like everything, like it was just insane. I can't even explain it. Like no, also they had it. they had all these massive how would you say it? Like not figurines, but a kind, kind of, of like kind almost of like, like a um how would you explain it? I don't know. Like for example, I don't want to spoil it, but for example there's moments where there's like massive dementors just coming over you. Like and, and it's really immersive in 4D in the sense they spray things at you. There's like wind, water, there's water and the spiders and everything. Oh, so unreal. no, it was incredible. So Yasmin tells me there's still one more ride to do at Harry Potter World. I don't know if my stomach is up for it, but she's <laughs> gonna make me do it anyway. So I'm so excited. Let's do that. Update, this is genuinely so good. It's so good. Not sure if that is exactly what they drink in the movies, <laughs> but it's got, amazing. And we got the non alcoholic one. Yes. But it's almost like the top is, it's like it's cream. It's cream, but what is underneath? I don't know. I guess butterscotch? 
probably, whatever that is. It's amazing. <laughs> Guys, Yasmin is in her element. All right, Yasmin, official unboxing. What card will you pull? I'm gonna guess Snape. Ah, uh, okay, so. <laughs> Not the best card, but wait. She's the founder of Hufflepuff. Wow, it's cool how it moves like that. All right, we're gonna eat the chocolate because clearly that's all we do on this trip is eat junk. Uh, but anyway, off to Mario World or Nintendo, Nintendo World. World. <laughs> Quickly grabbing these before we go into Nintendo World. Finally made it, let's go! Way bigger and way cooler. It and was, yeah, it was yeah. unreal. Now we're gonna find the next ride, wherever uh, it is. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're a little lost. Thank you guys. Bye.